for people who are watching who are like, what is he talking about with the insurance like going sideways? What are you talking about, Lee? <laughs> so, um, so I've been an you know adjuster since 2018. Obviously, I, you know I met you and I consider you one of my you know mentors. Um, and so, supposedly per the industry, um, insurance goes cyclical every you know four or five six years. And so what that means is the larger carriers will basically do away with. With most, if not all, the IAs, and then they try to have a, a, a hiring spree for staff. Um, I'm yeah. not – I don't want to go staff, so I just took that opportunity and said, you know what? I'm going to take a little bit of break, kind of see what it's going to hap- happen with all the influx of you know, all the hire, hiring staff. I know some of my buddies, they went and got – that lived down in Texas, you know, they went and said, you know what, I'm going to, they're older. So they're like, ah, I'm going to go do staff. Um, so it fits, you know, what they're after. I just said, you know, I don't, I don't want to do that. And so, um, so that's where I can have, you know, my, my, my good buddies, they own multiple businesses. So I can just call them up and say, you know, when I'm not doing insurance, um, cause it's nice to, to take, I believe it take for me to take a break from insurance because it can just be mentally and physically draining, um, not, but it is my first choice. I mean, I love it. I love doing it. Um, and I just haven't been pushing, you know, to, to get deployments or stuff like that. Um, I've had a couple, you know, they're like, eh, I could go to the Northeast, but I don't have my New York license. So, um, so yeah, so insurance just kind of does this cyclical thing every four or five, six years. Um, um, you, you obviously probably know more about it than I do. It's the first time that I've ever been exposed to it. And so I basically went from working 165 days straight to literally they just shut you off. Um, and at the yeah. time I had, I had all my eggs in one basket. Um, and then, so then it's just nice. kind of reestablishing yourself with all the other, um, with, with multiple IA firms. Um, but, but that's okay. Cause that was a journey of, from 2020 until August of last year, I did have my egg in one basket. I'm grateful for that opportunity. I just wanted to see that side of it. Um, and so now it's, it's basically, you know, reestablishing myself with multiple in, independent firms. It allowed me time to go get my auto certification and just kind of sit back. Honestly, I just wanted to sit back and kind of see what, what is this all about with it being cyclical and, and with the, you know, all the IAs being kind of, or most, a lot of the IAs being let go or not. And then, you know, all this big staff. So I just kind of wanted to stand back and look at the whole big picture and see what it was doing and just see what I felt you know, best was for my needs. And so, you know, I had some health issues a couple of weeks ago with emergency surgery. So it was just kind of one of those things where sure. it's like, you know, things, things play out, you know, um, but now it's, it's now it's kind of getting back out there, reestablished and stuff like that. So gotcha. yeah, it's been interesting. It's, it's been interesting to see, stand back and kind of see what's going on, you know, with all the chatter and everything. Yeah. So basically what Lee's talking about here is, is, and it's not every insurance company, right? So the cyclical part is, is it that like all the insurance companies all just dump all their IAs and you're right. on a big hiring spree. It's really kind of within these, these companies. And I think it's, you know, I, I did the same thing. I had my, all my eggs in one basket back in 2014, 2015 ish. And, uh, the company that I was always working for that I'd worked for, for like 12 or 15, 12 or 13 years they did the same thing. We got, and this was absolutely heartbreaking. It was like May, you know, and got deployed to a, a big, big hailstorm in Omaha, Nebraska, which is one of my favorite places to work. And got 40 claims. Everybody got their 40, first 40 claims. And I was like, you know, pushing into the to the end of the first week, and I'm about done with all my claims. And normally... They, you get a big chunk and then you knock your your pending down and they give you another big chunk and it just goes like that for, for you can go for weeks and months right and I'm like I'm closing these claims I closed 26 closed you know 33 I've closed 38 and I'm like I'm just checking my pending on there's nothing else there there's no new claims so I called my manager and long story short, they did the same thing. We got a, they sent out a mass email to, to all the IAs and said, 
hey, you know, we just wanted to really thank you guys for coming out and helping us out with this cat and everything. And I'm like, I haven't been here for five days. And they're sending everybody home. And I was yeah. I was not pleased with that situation. So there's there's a little bit of danger there. You know, you can get snuggled in with the company and like get really comfortable. And, and I, I knew all the managers at the, at the carrier and I knew all the managers on the I firms, you know, my, the whole team. Right. And they're like, this came down. They were like, sorry, you know, this came down from like HQ. Nothing we can do about it. You know, this is just it's a, it's a thing that they want to do. They want to they want to rebuild their cat team. And really what this kind of comes down to is that they just they might get a new CEO who wants to like, you know, make make their name and like, you know, or they get like a big leadership change up and they want to they shake everything up. Right. State Farm does this periodically. They do reorganizations. Right. Where they they have all these claim offices all across the country and then they close them all down and then they reopen them and they close them and they hire a bunch of people and then they fire a bunch of people. And it's all it's all somebody poking, you know, cells around an Excel <laughs> spreadsheet saying, hey, you know, we could save $37 million if we just did this, right? Happens. Um, it happens good times, bad times. You know, there's no there's no real rhyme or reason to it. So it's not like you, you can say, well, every six years or like, you know, if the stock market's doing this, then the, all the carriers are going to do this. Or if there's no storms, they're going to do this. Or if there's a bunch of storms, they're going to do that. It right. just it just it'll just kind of happen out of the blue. So, um, which is a little bit of a cautionary tale for you know adjusters to try to diversify, right? To not just it's easy and it's it's again like I said it's like it's comfortable and it's you know you feel safe in there. You know you know that the whole team and everything, but then it it makes you vulnerable. So what does it actually look like when adjusters with decades of experience between them scope a hail damaged house? On video, what about how to actually do a claim in Xactimate? What is stability and how do you even get started in it? What if there was one place, one huge and expanding library of property claims adjusting videos showing how it's done? What if there were also complete Xactimate certifications as well as the latest and most up-to-date Xactimate mobile training? You know, what if? What if the dream was a reality? Get started for free binging all the desk and field claims adjusting videos you can stand right now at adjustertvplus.com. Think of it as a virtual ride along. Speaking of ride alongs, click here to get right along to the next video. Because it's a, well, do you see how it's, it's a pun, you see? Ride along, get it right, just move right along. Versus ride along, it's right along, get right along to it.